Schlipper said that he would make anything that was distant, difficult, and dangerous. And that is really an inspiration. When I, I've never had the courage to make a proper Cooper film, going abroad to some unknown part of the world, and, but I would love to have done so. He made you convinced that the idea was brilliant. Yeah. At least he made David O. Selznick convinced. Nobody else was. Um, and then he delivered the result, which was more than almost anybody on earth could do, because you had to find out how to make that film. You can't make a picture about a gorilla and hire one from the zoo and show in the script. O'Brien did a test which he showed to Conan Doyle, who took it to the Conference of American Magicians. And he said, he told them the story of the lost world as if it was true. He said, I saw these prehistoric animals myself and I have a motion picture camera with me and I'm now going to show you what I saw. And every one of them was convinced it was, that he was telling the truth. So they then embarked on Lost World as a feature. And at the end, as though he was being directed by Marion Cooper, he had the... Um, the Brontosaurus, I think it was, escaping from the Natural History Museum and uh, rampaging through the streets of London. And that turned Cooper crazy to do his King Kong rampaging through the streets of Manhattan. And uh, they went a bit far for, for that era. But it's mostly the violence that was uh, that up. And the violence was absolutely terrifying for 1933. Um, it's, it's pretty terrifying now for kids, I should think. It was always received with acclamation, uh, particularly, unfortunately, by Adolf Hitler, whose favorite film it was. And uh, King Kong, well, you can imagine who he identified with.